My name is Toby Layton. I work for Desert Design and Construction. Today I'll be explaining how to properly reset this deluge valve, which controls the high expansion foam, which has six generators inside hangar 808 at Travis Air Force Base. Our first step is uh, make sure you check both gauges. Your top gauge, which is above the, the deluge valve, your bottom gauge, make sure they're zeroed out. You got both drains wide open. Make sure the system's completely drained. Then you close your drain on the top part of the system, which is above your clapper of the deluge valve. Make sure that's completely closed. Then on the back side, you have this half inch ball valve, which is your fill line, which starts flowing water. Through. Then you pull your pin up and it should start to build pressure. Now you got pressure on your uh, deluge valve here and you close your ball valve to verify that it's holding pressure. Once you have verified that it's holding pressure, you go ahead and open that back up. That stays open. And then you come over to this side and uh, make sure you got this bottom drain is still open and you crack your main valve until you hear water flowing. Once you have water flowing, you start to close this drain. You close it slow so you don't get a water hammer. And once it's equalized, you go ahead and proceed to open your main control valve all the way. Now that's completely open. There's a test valve on the back side here that is normally closed. The only time you use this valve is to test the pressure switch here which will drop the pressure and it will activate this pressure switch we'll set the, we'll, which will set off the alarm. This valve here is the, the feed for the foam tank which now it's set you can go ahead and quit. Well they're filling up the tank though so I'm not going to open it. But you want to open this up which pushes the foam out of the, uh, of the tank through the stainless steel up through the mixer. That's pretty much how you set the deluge valve.